Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Hope you guys are ready to have some fun. Hope you guys are ready to bake some bread. Hope you guys are ready. Period. Just ready. That's right. Born ready. You already know how we do. All right. So you already know what's up. As you guys read from the description, um, you guys read uh, all down below. Um, we're gonna be making some focaccia bread. <laughs> One of my one of my all-time favorites. All right, uh, it's actually really easy to make, super awesome, super yummy, and um, we're gonna be making a little pesto. Look at this! Look at this beautiful, amazing basil that I uh, picked from my garden earlier. You know, we washed it and uh, we're ready, oh, ready to go. <laughs> Sorry, Bruh. sorry about that. <laughs> we're gonna make a little pesto to go with that, and uh, we're also gonna be making. Um, what else are we gonna be making? We're gonna be making uh, some pesto some focaccia, and that's right, a caprese salad. Caprese, caprese. Anyways, tomato, mozzarella, basil, yummy salad. Can't wait to make it all, can't wait to eat it. It's amazing, it's not gonna take too long. That's why we started a little later today. And as you already know, we're gonna be uh, waiting on Christian as she uh, gets home from uh, painting her mural and all that good stuff. But anyways, you already know, let me roll the intro real quick and then we're gonna get right into it okay we got a lot to do and a little bit of time so i'll see you guys on the other as soon as i roll the intro all right yes Bruh. guys welcome back let's do this so excited you already know what's up so today we're gonna be making uh, some focaccia you know so what's the matter with you what's a focaccia focaccia with you what's a focaccia with you so today um, it's gonna be an easy day it's gonna be a fun day you know it's funny right um, you can never you know, uh, dictate the weather or anything like that. So every day out here, it's been like over a hundred degrees, right? And today's meal um, was kind of with that in mind. You know, the fact that it's so freaking hot out there. 
that I said to myself, hey, you know, like let's start making some uh, summer recipes, right? And this is one of those uh, summer recipes that we're gonna be making. And uh, it just, so, let me see, I'm trying to figure out a way. Um, he's already got my, see we got that camera, but I'm trying to figure out a way to, a better spot to put this camera. Burp, not there. Anyways. Maybe that's the uh, same kind of, I feel like it's too far away. Eh, who cares? Anyways, I think that's fine for now. We'll leave that there. Um, so anyway, some summer recipes, and uh, now it's not so hot out there. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, this is like the perfect, perfect 105 degree weather recipe, you know, which is, uh, you know, just make a nice little focaccia bread, make some sandwiches, you know, um, some nice prosciutto, you know, some little nice little cheese, you know, a little, uh, little pesto, a um, little salad. I mean, manja manja, right? And then all of a sudden, you know, it's like it's freezing out there. It's like 90 degrees. Can you believe it? Bruh. Anyways. So, anyway, shout out to everybody out there in the chat. I see a bunch of you guys are already out there. Visionary DeFi says, we'll have to subscribe with my other account to push to 300 subscribers. That's right. That's right. So, thank you very much. So, I guess right now, because of your, your new added subscription, we are now at 300 subscribers. Yay. And by the way, we're not doing that bad at all on uh, on Twitch. I think we got 130 on Twitch. So that's that's pretty awesome too. So shout out to you. And I don't know how many we got on the in the other platforms, you know, but uh, I know we got a few out there too. So all right, let's stop wasting time. Let's get into it. What is it? This is it. <laughs> Bruh. All right. So what we're gonna do? What we will do now. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Right? So what we're going to be doing today is, uh, I mean, what we're going to be doing right now is that uh, we're going to be getting some, first of all, we got to get that water. We gotta, Remember, we're going to be uh, blooming some yeast, you know, kind of like blooming that onion. We're going to be blooming that yeast. So while we bloom the yeast, uh, I mean, in order to bloom the yeast, we got to get a, uh, some the water at uh, the appropriate temperature. So remember, it's 90 degrees. So we gotta get the water to like around 100, 110, give or take, no more than that, right? 115, you know. Uh, so we gotta get some water uh, on the stove. Oh, and we gotta use uh, this right here. I'm gonna leave this light off for now. All right, let's see if uh, see how we do. We'll go from there. But anyways. How's everybody doing out there? How's everybody doing? You guys doing all right? Hmm? You guys behaving out there? Or are you guys misbehaving? Hmm? 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 Is there music playing? I don't think there's any music playing. Did the thing freeze, I think? You know, I just realized. Well, I'll do it later. Okay, so let's uh, get some yeast. Yeast. Let's get some yeast. Blooming. By the way, um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to be doing this this weekend coming up. Um, I'm going to start setting it up, but I'm going to see if I can, if this weekend, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go live 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just nonstop. And in order to explain a little bit better what I mean by that, what I plan on doing is just playing all of my videos, you know, uh, kind of randomly, you know what I mean? Like, uh, just play the playlist or what have you. And uh, just always have the channel live, you know, so when I'm not live, right now, you know, there'll be certain times when I'm live, like right now, all right? By the way, so let's uh, let's measure this out. We need, it says seven grams of a yeast, all right? So let's get seven grams. 
I always do a little more just in case, you know, I always like to bloom it a little bit more, you know. But yeah, that's kind of like the idea. I kind of plan on doing that, um, just being, being live all the time. And then obviously, you know, there's going to be, you know, certain times when I'm, I'm live for reals. But in uh, the other time, I'm just gonna have my old episodes just constantly playing. But that's gonna allow the chat to always be active as well, you know what I mean? So that way you guys can just hang out and do that. And I think it'll be fun. Um, but let me know, let me know what you guys think, you know, about that. I mean, I'm gonna do it anyway, you know what I mean? So regardless, Bruh. cause you know me. Yeah, I definitely need this light on, huh? I already feel like it's already darker. Darker than usual. Making sure we don't go too hot. But anyways, uh, Visionary DeFi and uh, everybody else out there, um, hope you, that it's in the crypto space or even in just a regular investing space. Anyone's out there doing uh, any kind of anything. Hope you guys are doing all right. <laughs> Surviving. Could be hard times for some. Anyways, uh, shout out to everybody out there. But yeah, I mean, I kind of want to do that. You know what I mean? Like, um, just have like the, just always something live. You know I mean, just always some, just me cooking or something, you know, whether I'm here or not. You know what I mean? All right, so we got the yeast in here, as you guys can see. All right, we got the yeast. Okay, which is again seven to eight grams of uh, instant yeast. All right, we got one and a half cups of warm water. Okay, around 110, 115 degrees. Okay, and we also have. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of honey. Look at that, with ants included. You probably can't. I don't know if you guys can see the ants or not. <laughs> Well, the ants on the outside of the pot. But anyways, have like a 24 hours, seven days a week, little, uh, you know, the whole day network. I mean, I feel like I already have enough vid videos and episodes um, where I can do that. And I'm always adding anyway. I'm adding four episodes a week, for crying out loud. So, um, but yeah, just have, you know what I mean? When I'm not live live, you know, um, the show's still going to be live, but it's just going to be showing all the reruns. There's going to be reruns, you know, for 24 hours, seven days a week. And then when I, when I go live, we take the rerun stuff off. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember. I mean, even like Sports Center back in the day. I don't know what Sports Center does anymore. I don't watch ESPN anymore. But I remember like uh, ESPN back in the day. They used to run like Sports Center. They used to have. Remember, Sports Center used to be like an hour, and they used to run it for like, you know, how long? How many times straight? You know what I mean? Like uh, they used to run the same uh, uh, Sports Center episode uh, on ESPN. You know, like uh, 17 times in a 24-hour time span. And that was before the internet. Thank you for all the hitting the likes, all the subs, all the 
everything. Thanks for all the love and support. Vision, vision movie clips. Oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> Anyways, we have not launched our cryptocurrency yet. Was waiting for the market just loading up now before the bull run. Yeah, man. Definitely gonna be. We're gonna be dumping for a little bit, and then uh, we'll see where we go. It's gonna be interesting. Interesting, interesting times. Definitely uh, very interesting times ahead. All right. Well, while we are, uh, you know, kind of like letting this bloom for a little bit, we don't need to really wait much on that. Um, we're going to start getting uh, the flour and the salt ready, okay? And uh, just mix it all together. Make some dough. Dough, 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 dough. I got bit by some of those angry ants. LA did not want me um, to hit, to, you know, kill them. They did not want me to mess up their, uh, their honey. Their honey entrapment. But yeah, man, man, I'm so tired, man. I'm doing a lot of exercise today. Anyways, also it's a little, you know, I'm used to kind of cooking a little earlier. I feel like almost uh, like I'm working, uh, you know, the night shift or the after, you know, like uh, at, the, at the restaurant. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so yeah, yesterday the... Um, uh, which I'm gonna call it yesterday the the cornbread did not pass the test uh, the chili was awesome it came out awesome the banana pudding was beyond amazing um, she loves that I loved it it came out super good um, but that's it and I mean like uh, yeah that, that cornbread I don't know what the hell happened to that man We're, I gotta make regular cornbread now next time I'm definitely gonna make regular cornbread soon I'm excited about tomorrow's um, episode or tomorrow's show so tomorrow's show we're gonna be on tomorrow's show we're gonna be making uh, some peach cobbler. <laughs> I'm actually excited for that um, because I've had a peach cobbler a million times, right? Um, but um, I never made it, and so like I was looking at the recipe, and I was like, oh, by the way, I was looking at a bunch of recipes, and they were all basically the same. But when I was looking at the recipe, I was like, man, this this is weird. This is not, is this really it? Nah, this can't be it. This can't be it. And basically, everybody that that you know has Martha Stewart for crying a lot, whoever you know has uh, you know that has their version of it. Um, they um, they make it a certain way, and I had no idea that it was made this way. Regardless, we're gonna be making it tomorrow. I don't want to give too much away, um, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I love peach cobbler. I bought some ice cream and everything to go with it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm from the South, you know what I mean? I grew up in the South and stuff like that. So to me, you know, Southern food, you know, that is 100% Southern as F, you know what I mean? So we're definitely going to enjoy the F out of that. Um, banana pudding, Southern as hell too, as far as I know. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I love that. I love Southern food. I'm going to stick to that for, uh... but anyways, we're going to be making some chicken, you know, some mushroom chicken pasta, you know, I think it's going to be all right. You know, might as well, I think it'll go well with this weather, right? At this uh, this juncture, all right. So we're just getting the salt in here, all right. Then one and a half teaspoons. So it's uh three and a quarter cups, right? Three and yeah, three and three quarter cups. So almost four cups of flour, all right. And uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt. It's gonna go in this bad boy. Just gonna wait for this to kind of bloom a little bit more here. See, it's kind of doing its thing. You see it? Anyways, we already washed, you see, this uh, base basil, okay? And uh, we're going to be making that next, as soon as we get this uh, blooming a little bit. But yeah, you know what? The other day when I was making bread, um, I'm, when I was making this bread, by the way, this bread came out really good. 
All right, we were eating it again yesterday since the cornbread didn't come out. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I was I realized I think why it came out this way and not the way I wanted it to come out a little bit more puffier, you know, a little bit more crunchy on the outside and fluffier on the inside was because I didn't actually wait to bloom this. I mean, that, I think it actually does make a difference, you know, um, to bloom it. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just uh, some guy on YouTube and on Twitch and on DLive and on Facebook and on all the other platforms out there, you know what I mean? Uh, and Twitter and everything. Uh, so uh, don't forget, you know, Monday through Friday, Monday to Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> We're here live. Bruh. Anyways. But uh, yeah, I think it does make a huge difference. Now let's give it a little mixy mix. See, it's kind of like doing its thing. But yeah, it's funny though. The, the temperature has decreased. And it's such a difference. It feels cool outside, even though it's literally 90 degrees right now. But it feels nice and, and cool. You know? It's like, bro. Bro. I think uh, we're about to get going on this. Shout out to everybody out there. Hanging out. Yeah, by the way, so the reason I kind of have the chat, you know, like always down there, you know, I got to have a little bit of the chat like going on down there is uh, simply because um, almost, I don't know why, you know what I mean? Like everything seems to always be copyrighted these days, even non-copyrighted music, you know? So with that being said, you know what I mean? Like um, whenever I have to like take a song, one of these songs that I have in the background, when I gotta, whenever I got to take one of those out of the... Uh, of the video, you know, so that I don't get the copyright strike or copyright whatever. Um, and it just knocks out the chat, you know what I mean? Like the chat's not there anymore. So it's like, man. Bruh. So that's why when, if you look at a replay, sometimes you can don't see, you know, no chat replay per se. But anyways, I think we've let this uh, bloom enough, right? I think we should, uh, you know, get going, all right? So we're gonna add, okay, remember, three and three quarter cups okay so we got two cups here with this with the salt okay we're gonna go on ahead and add the rest now in a second And uh, yeah, you know, just go on ahead and get, and just do this with the spoon, okay? No need to get your hands in there yet. You get a, make it a giant sticky mess. You can do this with a spoon. And again, you know, notice that I, I don't have a hand mixer. I very rarely, you know what I mean, like um, need it. I think only maybe one time, there was one time that I really wanted to So you have it on, but other than that, um, you can do this simply, you know, with the wooden spoon or by hand. And in this case, you know, I suggest just use a wooden spoon. I think it'll make it a lot easier. But you see what we you see what we got here, where it's like dough that's kind of like, <clears throat> you see, like in little strands, a little bit broken up or what have you. That's what we're looking for. Okay. All right, if you need to add a little flour to it or something like that. You know, now's the time. But anyway, so just kind of, you know, go on ahead and uh, get it together. Knead it a little bit here. See, it's nice and sticky. Okay. Do that. Oh, sorry. Anyways, I think uh, we need just a tad little bit of flour here. We're getting a little trick here. We got, you see, like gooey hands. Just put some flour on your hands. 
Alright, and then wash your hands. Look. Wash your hands with flour, as they say. And look at that. You see, instead of having like fingers all goopy like that, see, nice and clean. Anyways, alright, so just give this a, a little movement here. Anyways, you see, you want to just knead it a little bit. You see, it's it's perfect. You see, look at that. Okay. So now we're gonna go on ahead. We're gonna add some olive oil to this bad boy. So about a tablespoon. Of olive oil, and uh, now you're gonna knead this into the dough. Okay. Okay, very easy peasy. Look at that. See? Look how easy that was. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to cover this with some plastic wrap and we're going to check on it in 30 minutes. All right, so give me a second. Let me wash my hands real quick. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves uh, just hanging out with me in the kitchen. Alright. Just having some fun. I mean, the thing is, it's uh, the way I see this, you know, it's like you guys are just uh, hanging out with me in my home while I do just basic stuff. In this case, you know, we're just making, making dinner. You know, usually that's what we're doing, you know, just making dinner. In fact, um, I gotta do some stuff in the garden. Again, let's see if I can do that this weekend too. Record that and uh, upload the video of me kind of working in the garden a little bit. Share that with you. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna go on ahead. I'm gonna get the GoPro, we're gonna put it back here. And it keeps falling apart. Let's put the timer for 30 minutes.
Alright, we got some keep an eye on it there. Alright, let me know if it moves. Let me know if you see any sudden movements back there, right? And that's it, I mean guys, I mean, super easy. Which is out here chilling like a villain. Okay, okay. All right, so now we're gonna work on the best of. Get all that flour out of here. So now we're gonna just uh, get the the base basil that I have here, and we're gonna set you know just take off take them all off the leaves, right? That's uh, what we're gonna be doing here. We got time to kill, right? So we're gonna be taking all of these guys. Now we're gonna be saving some of them because uh, we're gonna be needing them. Okay, so let me see. Okay, because I need, uh, we're gonna make some pesto and then we need some for the, for the salad. So, I'm just gonna put them all here. Just picking the leaves. So yeah, hope you guys are having fun out there, enjoying yourselves. Wonderful day today. Happy Thursday. That's what we're, today we're doing a little throwback Thursday. We're making uh, something that we've already made before here on the show, but, you know, we can always, uh, you know, improve. And, um, again, you know, there's no reason, you know, we can't, you know, is it like, uh, when you're at home, a lot of times you make a lot of the, the same yummy meals over and over again. Sometimes you'll change them up, sometimes you won't. All depends on you, but you know, for the most part, you know, again, today, even though it's uh, cold, it's still 90 degrees outside, and um, it's still gonna be hot this weekend, and so forth, so on and so forth. So, you know, what we're making right now is something that uh, is gonna be enjoyed no matter what today, this weekend, and going forward. So, again, you know, I'm right now, I'm just uh. Again, as you guys can see, just picking the basil leaves and these basil leaves, you know, some of them I'm going to be using for the salad. Most of them I'm going to be using for the pesto. Make a little pesto there. Christian was like asking me, hey, you're going to be making more pesto? I'm like, yes, I am. Yeah, was when I told her I was going to make the, the focaccia, she was asking me about that. She loved the pesto, so we're going to be making more of that. And by the way, again, this basil um, comes from my, uh, literally, my, my backyard, from my garden. So it's also super cool being able to, to produce something yourself and... Uh, and then be able to eat it, you know? 
you know, uh, grow it, can harvest it, consume it. So awesome. Really awesome. So, you know, that's, kind of what I, that's why I want to show you a little of the garden as well. See what's up there, what we're doing there, and all that good stuff, all that jazz. I think you guys are, I don't know if you guys are out there watching per se, or if you guys are out there uh, hanging out uh, while you're working on something else. know the the crypto markets and all that stuff they're a bit uh, kind of crazy right now a lot of people are kind of paying attention to that at the moment trying to secure right their future trying to secure that bag <laughs> first and foremost Sir, this is a great old time. Who out there in the audience has baked their own bread before? Anyone? Has anyone baked their own bread? And if so, what kind of bread? Also, what uh, what is your favorite bread out there for those, whether you baked or not? You know, do you have a favorite By the way, so this is not like Italian basil. This is more like Thai basil because that's what we grow out here in the hot, humid weather. Lodak has never baked bread. By the way, Lodak, I know you're working. Wink, wink. Shout out to you. Thank you for hanging out here as well. bread what is your favorite kind of bread if I might if you don't mind me asking or maybe you do mind me asking maybe that's too too much of a anyway see look we have uh... okay so we're gonna go on ahead and uh, this is a, you know we're just gonna get a little these are yeah <laughs> you know these uh... <laughs> you know um, these leaves that I'm separating here trying to these are for the salad I mean uh, so I just want to leave them whole look at the prettiest ones you know Your cheese bread is good. Yes, it is. Very really good. I agree. I agree, Senor Lodak. Start making the the pesto. We make the pesto. We make the pesto. I 
right, so we're gonna start mixing all the ingredients in here, all right? And then just blend it up. I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy, actually. Pretty, 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 pretty good. One clove of garlic. Hey, so what are you guys uh, doing tomorrow for Friday the 13th? You guys celebrate it or something or what? You guys gonna celebrate Friday the 13th? Friday. All right, so we got one clove of garlic in there. I'm gonna add all that basil, all right? You don't care about Friday the 13th, yeah, you no, know me either. I mean, that's just kinda... I don't think anybody celebrates it, right? But I mean, are people like scared of it or something? Or? All right, so we got the basil, we got the garlic in there. Um, we got about two tablespoons of cashews. So again, if you get if you got pine nuts, great. Otherwise, you know, cashews are fine. Okay. They call them here in, in Mexico. They call them. Uh, Nuez de la India, so like Indian nuts, nuts from India. That's what they call cashews in Mexico. Bruh. We're in the pesto. We're in the pesto. In the ghetto. That's my rendition of uh, in the ghetto. I said it's 50 grams. I don't know how much 50 grams is. I think this is enough. A little mix of cheeses. Some people are legit scared about the 13th. Oh yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Yeah, there's a lot of like superstitious uh, peoples out there, right? Scared of uh, all kinds of shit. I totally agree. Get some salt. So, um, you know, I, I look back at the video that I made when I made this the last time. And, um, you know, I, I, I made some adjustments on the fly when I was making this. So, 
I'm just, you know, I already kind of adjusted the recipe and this is basically the same, same thing I made last time. What's up, Adam? How's it going? Shout out to you. What's up, buddy? Got more doge. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think things are going to drop even further. I, I wouldn't, I mean, well, I mean, you already did. Nothing wrong with that. Good levels to get some value at. But yeah, man, you know what I mean? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for, for the whole thing to, you know, tank even further. And I get, man, I get a feeling it's gonna go way, way south. All right, let's add a little bit of a uh, little apple cider vinegar. All right. Hey, Gizmo, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? It's crazy because like uh, Gizmo, he has no idea I'm streaming. He's probably like, oh, he's, he's talking to himself. What's he doing? It's like, Bruh. this human's crazy. He's over here talking to himself. What's wrong with this guy, right? Bruh. That's probably what he's thinking. All right, hold on a second, actually. I gotta, let me open the door for him. Life is good. Okay, so now, uh, okay, we got the ingredients in there. We got some olive oil. Let me add a little bit more. I know we're gonna be needing more. I don't wanna add all of it now. But we basically got all the ingredients in there already. It's not that hard to make, really. All right. That's it. The hardest part uh, was picking, picking the basil. All right, so now we're gonna get the blender out. You guys are ready. I'm gonna mute it for a second, so. You know you're getting older, you can't even stretch. Bruh. Okay, so yeah, well, I'm just not gonna mute it. You guys deal with the noise. All right, so you guys can see there what it looks like, all right? All right. So it's still very uh, pasty, all right? It's kind of like a paste there. So, definitely needs a lot more uh, olive oil.
Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. You gotta make sure it's nice and uh, all blended up and incorporated, all right? But then, I mean, look at that. I mean, what more do you want? All right, let's just give it a quick little taste. Make sure, uh, make sure we gotta make sure it tastes good, right? Don't taste good. You gotta fix it. Okay, so, let's see. I think perfect, basically, honestly. I think it just needs a little bit more salt. And some more uh, vinegar, okay? A Swedish cookie, how's it going? Shout out to, shout out to you. Oh wait. Swedish cookie in the house. There's a little more vinegar in there and that's it, I think. Okay. Give this a quick little little blend. I think that's it. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Perfect. Let's give it one last taste. Again, always with the so you got the clean end here. Okay. Always uh, clean. Don't double dip. All right. Don't be getting your saliva germs up in there. All right. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. Perfection. Mm. That's it, easy. So now we're just gonna put this away for later. Anyways, a Swedish cookie says, uh, how are you today? I'm doing, oh, she, you're doing great. Says, you're doing very well. Then how am I doing today? There, that's. I'm glad you're doing awesome. I'm doing amazing too. I'm having an amazing, wonderful day. Um, really awesome day. I'm not, I can't complain. And I won't complain. But yeah, awesome day out here. Just chilling like a villain. Another day in paradise. But yeah, just uh, real life. I mean, again, between you and me, between you and me and all you guys out there. Um, you know, I was just realizing to myself today, man, man, I sure am one lucky motherfucker, man. I got a really awesome life. You know, an awesome life that I worked very hard for and uh, very hard to maintain and all that. Well, not that hard to maintain. It's actually pretty... But uh, in a sense, it's like, uh, life is good, man. Life is good. And I hope life is good for you guys as well. Life is awesome. Thanks for asking. Oh, seems like the GoPro, the GoPro went down. I'm gonna reconnect that in a second. Let me see. In the meantime, let me see what I can have. Uh, I guess I can put my Instagram's account. So, by the way, right, let's see. We got a little notification there. Oh, look at that! I liked my post. Bruh. So whenever Christian is eating and she takes a picture of the food, this is it right here. It's on my Instagram, so I just leave that there. Those are the last uh, last meals that we did there. By the way, that's my friend uh, with his toy helicopter. I don't know if you guys can hear him. Helicopter, helicopter. It's my homie. Helicopter, helicopter. It's my homie.
But yeah, if uh, you guys are interested, you can follow me on uh, on Facebook. I got a Facebook group. You know, you guys can follow me there. You can suggest recipes there. Communicate with uh, you know the, the other people there. Um, what else? We got a Discord group. We got Instagram. We got TikTok. We got it all. I'm doing things out here. What's up, Russ Smith? Sit that. Oh, man, you know, see, I had already separated this from the pesto. Jesus. I'm all distracted today. How's it going, Russ Simon? Shout out to you. Yes, I agree. I was watching your older videos in the U.S. and you seem a lot happier and a lot less stressed. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks for noticing. Everyone notices. Especially people that really know me. Again, the, the further back you go, the more uh, you know. Um, but especially like my, my family and friends that have known me for years. Oh my God, yes. You know, and it's like, bro, I'm never... I'm happy here. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, Mexico, living out here is awesome, man. It's not for everybody, though. Don't get me wrong. It's not for everybody. Some people, you know, think living out here is awesome. Some people don't like it. I love it. I'm like McDonald's out here. I'm loving it. A shout out to you, Russ Simon. Thank you. But yeah, one thing I'm going to be doing, um, I think, you know, going forward on this channel and on, you know, on here on Twitch and everything, is that when I am not live streaming, like right now, when I'm not here live, you know, with you guys, what I'm going to be doing is, um, I think, well, let me see, I think I'm just going to move the camera. Sorry. When I'm not live streaming here with you guys, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I am going to, I'm going to keep going live. You know what I mean? The show is always going to be live. It's always going to be live, something live on this channel. But what it's going to be is it's just going to be my older episodes just got being on replay, but at least uh, the chat will be open. So you guys will be able to chat and talk and hang out and just watch a replay and all this other stuff. And then you already know I go live, you know, four days out of the week. So, you know, during the times that I go live, I'll just shut that down for a minute, go live, and, you know, so we're going to be doing that. So, we're going to watch on Twitch. I think I'm, I'm I think that I'm only going to be doing on Twitch and YouTube. I'm not going to do that on Facebook. I'm only going to do it on Twitch and YouTube. Getting the pesto in the bottle. That's what we're doing right now. At this particular moment. Here's my pesto song. My pesto in the jar song. I got tons of songs. I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually a failed songwriter in a, in a past life. In a past life, I was a failed uh, jingle writer. We're getting the pesto and poured it in this little cup. So that way it's easy to access later. Alright, so there's a little pesto jar here. See, it's a lot nicer to have a small little jar for a small amount. So, uh, by the way, a small amount goes a long way. By the way, that's what she said, obviously. Bruh. Obviously. Right? So, little goes a long way, guys. All right? Don't be, you know, if she says otherwise, she's not for you. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. So, we're getting any, every last little bit of uh, that pesto. Oh, that's the focaccia. That is the focaccia. So now we're gonna have to go on and. Uh, mm, mm, so good, man! It's really good. This came out way better than the first one. Mm, 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 mm.
That's it, we got our, our pesto done. How awesome is that? And so the pesto, that's what we're gonna be using later, you know, for like the mayonnaise, you know? That's gonna be like the, the mayonnaise for the sandwich, you know what I'm saying? All right, so now what we're gonna do, 30 minutes after we, um, you know, made the dough, what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go on ahead, all right? And we're gonna uncover this, all right? Check this out, look how much it's grown. Oh, again, you know. All right, so now what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna stretch and fold this, okay? Check this out, okay? So we're gonna be lifting it up, all right? You guys can see, all right, see, look, all right? So lift up here from this end. Try not to break it or anything, just lift it up over to the other end, all right? Move, do the same thing. Flip it over like that, okay, move. All right, same thing. Yeah, try to keep. Okay, we're gonna fold. Okay, and then the last one. All right, just the four corners there. Okay, look at that. Okay, fold and stretch. All right. So we did all that, and now we're gonna just put this. All right, finish it up, make it into a ball again. I'm gonna cover this up again. All right, actually, let me get the timer going. Okay, another 30 minutes. I'm gonna do this again. So today, man, today's like super easy recipe day, honestly. You know, it's uh, just chilling in the kitchen. You know, we're hanging out. You guys have anything you want me to answer, talk to, talk about? Let me know. Just gonna be chilling in the kitchen today. So again, 30, so we do that. All right, we're gonna leave it for another 30 minutes, okay? After 30 minutes, we're gonna fold it again. All right, then leave it for another 30 minutes and then we bake. Okay, so that's how we do it. All right, so just uh, keep an eye on it there. Thanks. Thank you, guys. So, you know, honestly, we don't got much to do here. We just gotta wait for the dough to rise. All right, we're just chilling. All right. Um, so again, we get chat, talk. I'm gonna do some dishes, all right? So you guys can hang out with me while I do that. The, the three dishes that we got. Um, you know, we just, again, we're just hanging out today. But, you know, just to show you, you know, you can make amazing, delicious, awesome meals and how, super easy. We're baking bread today. You know, you could be baking bread and you could be doing things around the house. In this case, I'm just hanging out with you guys. We're talking, we're chilling, we're, you know, all that good stuff. Um, again, take advantage. Um, you got a little bit more time with me. But other than that, I mean, you know, this is uh, easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right, let me go on and uh, Flip the camera over here a little bit so you guys uh you guys keep an eye on the bread for me please. Yeah, so we got the basils already washed. I'm gonna wash these tomatoes over here and just uh, 
you know, set them to the side. So we're gonna do that real quick. And then I'm gonna do the dishes. Get some really super ripe tomatoes. you go. Wash the dishes as you go. That way you don't got any dishes to worry about later on. I think the dishes is like the hardest part of today's meal. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we're making sandwiches, you know, like, well, you gotta make your bread. You know, you're not making no sandwiches unless you're making your bread, right? Man, and especially this focaccia, and especially when you make the focaccia, like, uh, fresh out of the oven. Oh my gosh. 
There is nothing like it. You guys definitely gotta try this. This is like such an easy recipe. It is like, it, it, this is like a basic bread recipe. Because it just comes out so good, man, that um, it really encourages you to bake your own bread and do your own baking. Um, but yeah, you gotta, gotta definitely try it. Um, now, this kind of bread is not perfect for everything. You know, you can't really use it for everything, but just like, if you just want bread bread, you're looking for bread, like yummy, delicious bread, man, this is, this is the recipe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, girls. Yes, girls. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, um, you know, we got to do like the caprese, I mean, we're going to make the caprese salad, right? But that's super easy to make, you know, it's just like five seconds to make. And same as the sandwiches, it's also like five seconds to make, you know, we'll make that, you know, in due time. We're just going to be hanging out and chilling, really, I'm not going to lie, today's a real chill, just episode, you know, um, I, you know, I don't even know if uh, anyone's even watching, it's so chill, not much going on today. I almost feel guilty, you know, like I should be doing more stuff, but the reality is like, what, what else am I gonna do? And like, I mean, I'm not gonna be overcooking stuff, you know? That no one's gonna eat. <laughs> so we're just hanging out here. Um, but let's see, let's see what else we can do. Let's see, we got, hey, we still got 20 minutes on this, all right? Let's see, maybe I can just have some episodes in the background or something. Gonna myself, I'll play myself in the background. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, I know. Let's uh, I'll play in the background an oldie but a goodie. I haven't seen this in a long time. When I made a whole Thanksgiving dinner, I'm definitely gonna be making Thanksgiving again. So this is like an old ass episode. This from the very beginning, back in the day, when I was using the other camera. But yeah, back then I was using a different camera. I was using a bigger camera. I feel like, uh, you know, the equipment I got now is way better. Isn't that crazy? Luna's at zero. It's not the, who, who, somebody called it like the Lehman Brothers of the, right? Look how dark it is there. Somebody called like whether the Lehman Brothers. Yeah, look, I had no lights there at all. Wow, that's a super old, oh, super old episode. Yeah, the Lehman Brothers of crypto. 
Yeah, look, I, I, oh man, there's, I mean, just every single thing. I, look, about the markets and what's going on right now, it's just pointing to even more downside. Look, I, I think that really what's going on is that, you know, it's a major correction for all markets, okay? Just a major stock market. Bitcoin, crypto, they're all part of the markets. Even though they're like the penny stocks back in the day, you know, they're kind of like a little unregulated little section out of the whole markets, but they're considered part of the markets now, especially since you're trading futures and all this other shit. And so basically, the way I see it is that uh, what, what happened was that like the, the what's been being, what been, what's been pumped for the last several years has been the FANG stocks or basically the NASDAQ tech stocks, technology, tech, you know, the whole thing. And so I think that, in a weird way, like uh, this could be, because remember, when they talked about the tech bubble, when they talk about a lot of these things, you know, uh, you know, they don't really talk about, they don't even bring these names up until later on, you know, later on once uh, the whole thing actually happens. But yeah, long story short, I think that maybe uh, the this tech bubble 2.0 popped, you feel me? And um, tech bubble 2.0 uh, included crypto. And I think this is all part of the plan, you know, in order to shake everybody out. And, uh, and all that stuff is like, so it's been be like, again, I, I've talked about this many times on my other channel, um, you know, where they would basically say, hey, look, you know, we cried, by the way, they crash it all. So you know who they are, you know, whatever, whoever you want them to be. But anyways, they um, basically is, is uh, crashing the whole system. And then uh, they're basically also crashing a lot of these new technology stuff, like the crypto stuff, whatever. And then they're basically gonna say, hey, look, see, this, this technology is very dangerous, you know what I mean? Uh, we can't just let it be out there in the wild. It has to be more regulated. So let us, you know, regulate it. Let us take control of it. Let us, uh, you know what I mean, be the ones that kind of dictate what goes on, you know, with our own, uh, you know, versions of it and all this other shit. And then that's it. Just kind of like, uh, you know, get people to the point where they have no choice but to trust the government. And by the way, they did this the first time around. That's how they got the whole the Fed and the banking system to be accepted to begin with, all right? Um, was that they uh, they kept crashing, you know, the banking system. People went, um, went uh, kept going on these bank runs and, you know, this whole thing. And so basically, like, hey, look, we need a more regulated banking system. You know, let's, uh, you know, have a Federal Reserve, <laughs> right? The Federal Reserve is as federal as, uh, uh, as uh, what's it, what you call it, a uh, Federal Express. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you know, that's all I really think it is. And again, this is just the, the roaring 2020s. You know, this is not um, the the crash of all crashes. It's just a correction. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, they're using, uh, they're taking advantage of the opportunity that they got Biden in there. And they got this, uh, you know, you know, these people in there at the moment. And then, uh, you know, also use it as fire. You know what I mean? In order to get people to you know, in the next election, you know, lean towards the other way, you know what I mean? Then vote in, you know, uh, the opposite party and all that shit. So, so it's, it's gonna be interesting to see it all play out. But I mean, you know, it's it's, it's only gonna be interesting in the sense that like, you know, it's it's predictable, we're predicting it. And let's see how, how much of the prediction comes true. You know what I mean? So far, you know, the, you know, the, the, if any, if I've made, if, look, how about this? So far, the way I see it is like this. Um, like I talked to some of my really close friends, you know, I'm talking to you guys now here too. Um, but any mistakes that I have made in the last several years have only been mistakes of me not acting on my gut and not acting on my first instinct for the most part. Anytime that I have not done that and not have, and not have followed my own advice, that's when I have been wrecked and, uh, and things have not gone the way they should have and that's it i mean so you know all that's doing is just you know making it easier for me to move forward with everything because it's like well you know what i mean so i mean i've been pretty right most of this time um so it's just you know instead of doubting myself it's just more about uh you know um listening to myself a lot more and not being scared and i get it you know and also it makes me understand um the mentality behind um everyone else that listens to me and watches my content and shit like that because it's, it's not easy it's not easy i mean even for myself to to do some of these things and uh but but you got to do them and the, the more you know the more confidence you have in yourself and the more confidence you have in uh your actions you know the the better things are gonna actually gonna end up being and i think that's why there's a lot of disarray in the world right now and there's a lot of craziness in the world right now because nobody has faith in themselves you know they're all being fed 
you know, a uh, hundred theories about a hundred things from every angle. They don't even know what to believe anymore. And because of things like that, you know, basically, um, you know, they don't have faith in themselves and they don't even know who to believe. They can't even believe in themselves anymore or anything like that. Give me one second. Hold on. And so, yeah, you know what I mean? That's kind of like where we're at right now. So, a very interesting time to be alive. So... It is what it is. So yeah, you know, we got this bread here. We got about another 12 minutes, you know, before we do the next step, fold. And then after that fold, uh, we're gonna, you know, uh, let it rest for another 30 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna bake it, all right? So. Yeah, bake it in this bad boy here. All right, and that's it, just keep it easy, keep it fun. So yeah, baking uh, focaccia bread is actually pretty easy. Uh, I highly suggest you guys try it out if you're bored one day and uh, you want to bake your own bread and you want to try it. I highly suggest you try uh, focaccia. I, highly, I also highly suggest that you guys take up some hobbies like uh, cooking or something that uh, you know interests you um, because um, you're going to need some skills and uh, this is a great skill to have, which is uh, cooking. And being able to make things and so you know one of the reasons I'm also kind of concentrating on making a lot of bread believe it or not is because you know I'm trying to you know um, get my skills better you know what I mean when it comes to this department because you know how awesome is it that with uh, just basically a few ingredients you know some flour some water a little yeast and a lot of times you don't even need the yeast but just flour and water for the most part and you got yourself something you can eat you know so um, and there's many kinds of flour as well that you can use and we're just focusing on regular flour and, and corn flour that seems to be like kind of like the easiest but you know I've also watched videos on uh, what it takes to actually make flour and it's not that easy so you know that's another thing too you know trying to see what else uh, we can work with that's a lot easier to work with you follow me um, or a lot easier to to you know worst case scenario you can make some flour out of XYZ but anyways Anyone out there uh, have anything interesting to say or add to the conversation? You know, it'll be a great time to go on ahead and do it now. <laughs> Bruh. Shout out to everybody out there. Yeah, man, I'm watching these old ass videos, man. It's like, wow, man, how uh, how interesting. How uh, how much time has uh, passed. Oh, there's another episode here. What episode is this? Oh, I went, uh, yeah, every time I use a sound board, for whatever reason, it messes with, uh, but yeah, man, I think I'm going to be just doing the newer episodes, not the older episodes. Shout out to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful time out there. Enjoying me watching my bread rise as we're watching together. Together forever. So yeah, here's my uh, my Instagrammy. Look at all the food. So yeah, I'm do you know, which uh, this is part of like the documenting as well. You know, we're trying to document uh, you know everything here. So. We got the, the chili, we got the Philly cheese, we got the chicken and garlic. By the way, it was delicious, but all that garlic, man, gave us so many farts. But whatever, totally worth it. What is this? Oh, yeah, quesadillas, that's right. Um, we got ourselves uh, some chicken, um, Cuban chicken, with rice. We got ourselves, oh, yeah, that was a good one. Remember when we made the, the root beer float with the burgers? That was a great one. That was, that was super simple, but so delicious. What else we got here? Oh, that was a pozole that was... Uh... Yeah, Mexican week, and that dude, so the tamales. You know, they were, the tamales were actually pretty all right. You know what I mean? They were not horrible. You know what I mean? They were, you know. The flan, pretty good. Pretty good on the flan. What else did we do that day? We did flan and we did... What's that? I forgot what we made. I can't see. 
flan and oh yeah that chicken and green sauce yeah that was also really good because the salsas i made actually came out really good so we made some you know chicken and green salsa there and uh so we got that oh that's right we made the carne asada their tacos with some frijoles some beans you know ta beans and tacos look at that flame on Look at that, shrimp and rice. I gotta make some shrimp and grits. Oh yeah, the 420 brownies, man. Those were fire. I still got a few in the freezer. Those are fire. Those came out so awesome. Look at that. Oh, that was actually a really good day. To that day, I didn't even know what the hell I was gonna make. I remember, and uh, it was just kind of like a lot of these things were last minute. But look, see, look, that's the same thing that I was telling you about, about the bread. So I, I was trying to find a way to make some, uh, you know, some uh, pigs in a blanket. And, um, you know, every single recipe for pigs in a blanket out there, you know, they all had, uh, you know, the Pillsbury Doughboy frozen dough. And I, I don't have that here in Mexico. I had to make my own dough. And I just couldn't find anything. And I just couldn't figure it out. So I think I just got some regular dough. I think it was the same exact dough. I'm not even going to lie. I think it was the same dough, in a sense, almost, that I, I made uh, uh, pita bread with. It was the same pita dough. And uh, I was able to just get that, but instead of making pita bread with it, I, I just wrapped up the, the hot dogs and I baked it. And man, wow, they were so awesome. They were so awesome. They came out really, really, really good. And I made some hot mustard, which came out fantastic as well. And we made uh, some little pizza pockets. Man, that was really, really good. Really good. So I remember that day. That was an awesome day. Oh, that was... Uh, me when I went to go to the store, the little local store here. That's uh, the guy at the store, the little dog at the store. Oh, we made some gyros and some hummus. Delicious gyros and hummus. Oh, there we go. That was the last time we made the focaccia bread. No, actually, that wasn't an episode. I was just, ma I was just making that focaccia um, for myself, literally, for the house. So we were, I think we were going to a friend's house, and I was like. Uh, they were making some barbecue chicken. We were going to the pool, the whole thing. And uh, and I was like, all right, I'll bring the bread. I'll make some focaccia bread. I think Christian was like, yeah, suggesting, hey, can you make some bread? And I'm like, yes, I can. What do we got there? I think we got hummus and pitas again. I think we're just repeating. Then we got chicken and it was just roast chicken or just chicken fricassee or something or chicken piccata. Oh yeah, chicken piccata. So good, so good. So easy, just roasted potatoes and some carrots. Mm. Oh yeah, that was really good. And, and Christian didn't like, this is one of the things that Christian didn't like very much, but I loved um, those uh, harina, you know, which was basically like, um, you know, um, they made like the Cuban version of polenta, soft polenta, the Cuban and with uh, some pork, fried pork, and some maduros, and some tostones, and some yuca. It was really good, really, 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 really good. What else we got there? I think it was a chicken fricasse. That was a Cuban chicken fricasse with rice. The papa rellenas, which were also fire. You know, the, the stuffed meat potatoes. I mean, there's a, so that's potato on the outside, mashed potatoes on the outside, and then ground beef on the inside and deep fried. Oh my God, fire. Those are really good. And then, what do we make there? I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, the lasagna. That, by the way, this is one of the most popular videos uh, of the new ones that I've been making. That's one of my most. That's one of my most popular videos at the moment. Interesting, huh? So we got we just made lasagna and garlic bread there. So awesome. The garlic bread came out amazing because it was a pizza dough, the pizza bread. Oh my god, that pizza dough that I made was so good. Oh, there we go. Just rice, beans, steak. No, that's a focaccia. that was the last time we made the focaccia there. Look at that sandwich. So that's what we're going to be making now. So we're baking the bread. You know, we're getting the bread ready to make that. So I can't wait for that. That is so good. Oh my God. I'm going to be breaking a little cup there. I'm breaking some plates. Live on the air. All right, plate for the eggs. And then a plate for the eggs. Look at that! This thing just broke. What the hell was that? I still don't know how I did that, but it happened. Oh, was that it? Oh yeah, that was it. 
And that's my uh, tour of my Instagram. All right, what are we cooking here? I'm doing something. He's cooking something. Let's watch what he's doing. Oh, look at that. Time flew. How awesome is that? All right, so timer's about to go off, all right? So might as well just go for the stretch. All right, so we're going to do this again. All right. All right, so I already got the timer ready here. Okay, so again, you know, simple, simple. Look how it just rose. I'm sure you guys were keeping an eye on it rising to the occasion. Okay, super simple. So again, you know, we're going to go on ahead, just dig in. All right. Look at that. Stretch it, try not to break it or anything like that. Stretch it, fold it over. All right. Stretch it, fold it over, do the same thing. All right, grab the other end here, stretch it. Okay, fold it over. So this is what really gives like that focaccia like that focaccia you know? Okay, stretch it. Fold it over. But yeah, baking bread is like so much fun, man. Baking is a lot of fun. So, so I am also doing a lot of it as well. Carbs are amazing as well. Who doesn't love carbs? Am I right? But I right, stretch it and fold it over. That's it. So there we go. We did that again. Okay. Look at that. So we just make sure. Cover it up. All right, give it another 30 minutes, and then that's it. After this, we're gonna bake it. All right, so now again, one of the most most difficult parts again here. We're gonna have to uh, turn on the oven now. So now we're gonna have to, unfortunately, you know, even though it's nice and cool out there, nice weather, you know, now we're gonna have to suffer the 400. Agree. All right. Okay, so we're gonna leave this here for another. And by the way, again, we, we, we really can't do anything else. We already made the pesto and the salad. It's five seconds to make, literally, like thirty seconds to make. Too. So we already washed the tomatoes, washed the basil. That's it. You know what I mean? All we gotta do is just cut, cut it. We're good to go. But yeah, so we're just gonna keep watching this here. I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'm gonna go get something real quick. You guys want me to talk about at all anything 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 i feel like it's uh right now <laughs> all right so i'm i'm preheating the oven oh wow man look at that that's when i was using that that whole setup there but anyways, right now, right now I'm preheating the oven, all right? And um, I'm preheating it to 450 degrees. So this is something that needs a lot of heat, all right? Like a nice hot oven. That's what I noticed, you know, about things like this and um, things like the, um, what you would call it, like pizza and stuff like that, man. It's super, super hot oven, man. That's like the major, major key. You know, one thing we're actually going to be needing is that we're going to be needing some rosemary for the top. So, look, I got some dried rosemary. I'm, some rosemary I'm actually drying here. I'm going to use that later. Um, man, I keep... I keep dropping my freaking uh, thermometer. One of these days, it's going to... The thermometer's going to punch me in the face. All right, one second, I'll be back.
anyways, all right, so we're just gonna be hanging out here, watching my my older videos. In the meantime, while we wait. Watching, I hope you guys are enjoying watching old Jose cook an old meal there. I think yeah, I think that was me cooking Thanksgiving a few years ago. working a double shift at a subway and uh, now is like the low before all the customers come in you know there's nothing to do I'm just hanging out you know waiting for but like I said you know we got the you know so basically we you know we'll be done soon so 20 minutes from now we're gonna put this in the, in the pan and we're gonna bake it, okay? We got the oven getting super crazy hot right now and ready to go so we can bake this so wonderful the bread and then have amazing freshly baked bread for pasta. today, you know, for our sandwiches. We already made the pesto, we'll be making the salad. You know, again, the salad, you know, you can eat it on the side and you can also eat it with, uh, you know, in the sandwich, literally, you know, just it's simple. Again, you know, the tomatoes out here taste so good. You know, same as everything else, you know, and it's just basically tomatoes, olive oil, a little basil, salt, pepper, some cheese. It's amazing stuff. But, but again, this is like so much better than, than regular mashed potatoes. Because again, I couldn't find any good potatoes. And uh, to my liking, then I found the cauliflower. I already made cauliflower mashed before, and it was surprisingly better than regular mashed potatoes. And then since today we're having such a carb overload, I mean, since everything we're doing is a carb overload today, Thanksgiving, I figured it'd probably be better, nicer, you know what I mean? To eat, um, they have, uh, which one call it? Uh, the cauliflower puree, as opposed to the mashed potatoes, which are your carb. And, you know, again, I think, you know, it's fine that it came out a little liquidy because, again, you know what I mean? Just the fact that it's going to be sitting in that crock pot for a while and get it nice and thick. I 
put it in the crock pot so it doesn't burn. Set it on low. And by the way, I know this is not the content for everybody, you know, but this is live streaming, okay. you know, this is, uh, so good. Yeah. you know, right now, the, the reason that this kind of sucks, you know what I mean, in a sense, you know, for the content, I have no audience and, um, you know, I got to have an audience and build an audience. So that's why I'm thinking the best thing to do is uh, I'm going to go live 24 hours a day, seven days a week and just use a lot of the old content, what we're watching now, and just kind of like keep playing it live and. Without, and then just go live, you know, four times a week like I always do. But in the meantime, you know, there's always going to be something playing. So, you know, it always tracks some sort of viewers, you know, somebody there, you know, to come and check it out and all that good stuff. So, anyways, that's that's the idea. As you guys can see, all that stuff from the bottom got lifted up. You know, there's probably nobody watching right now. Mashed potatoes done. All right, so we got the mashed potatoes done. Um, we're working on the stuffing right now. Um, you know what? Now would be a great time to check the turkey. Oh, oh you know what? I forgot. I'm gonna get the apples up right And I gotta add these uh, craisins and stuff. Bro. Let me add this stuff in there. Basically, we're just uh, pouring them and chopping them up, throwing them in there. Yeah, but that mixture is already pretty much almost done. You know, shout out to everyone out there watching me um, watch my old content and uh, scrolling through my phone. <laughs> Bruh. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves out there. had to go to four stores looking for a turkey baster. I'm gonna shout out to everyone out there. Got a whole gang of you guys out there today. Hope you guys are all enjoying and celebrating Thanksgiving. top-notch content only the fucking best bro only the best so, yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it no but uh honestly the thing is like I've actually been thinking a lot of uh, you know um, how to improve everything content wise and you know things like this no bueno in fact 
I'm, I'm really, 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 really considering next week, you know, what I'm going to be doing. I'm definitely, you know, whether I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break or coming back or not, you know, regardless, you know, because uh, I, I still want to be doing this, but I got to like just reassess, you know what I mean, what I'm going to be doing. You know what I mean? I've been learning a lot about more of, you know, content creating and all this other stuff. And so I got to like really just weigh out the options. And, uh, and the thing is that like, I'm going to be making content, but what kind of content? And I'm gonna be making live live cooking content. Well, what kind of live cooking live cooking content and things like that? So we're gonna be working on all that shit, and uh, you'll see. So definitely interesting. Like I said, I'm gonna be playing my cooking videos 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When I'm not live streaming, we're gonna be playing the replays, and then that's it. You know, when I just take the replays off whenever I go live, and that's it. And just kind of you know make sure people know the difference between both and. Try to stick to a schedule and things like that. And then just do other things. You know, I'm definitely doing other things. I don't even know if you're even listening. I, mean, I feel like I'm... Fact, what I'm going to do now is just turn it off. Done. Okay, so you're back. I'm going to move this to the side. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Shout out to you. Because I want to take out the turkey so we can see the turkey. All right, so I'm going to take out the turkey and we're going to see it. Yeah, man, this is we Thanksgiving two years ago. I'm oh, crazy, you right? Lodak says, bro, oh, Luna okay, went up 80% you. on the new day, then fell down to 3%. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> How the hell did it go up 80%? You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> but, uh, everything's crazy. Are you home? We're living in some crazy times, that's for sure. Lot of men, oh, man, man. man. Just glad to just, you know, sit back and watch the fireworks and see what happens. So I put them in at 9 in the morning, but right now, okay. how long have we been cooking it? 3 hours and 40 minutes. But yeah, man. The wife still hasn't messaged me, so I don't even know if she's even on her way yet. So we still got a way. Wait a while for her. Right. A lot of liquid in there. Gotta get some of that liquid out. And we got like 12 minutes left on the timer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You know, 80% of that isn't much either. I don't know, yeah. 100%. Gizmo! All right, Christian's on her way home. Yay! All right, so I think I'm gonna get working on the bread. Yeah, no need to wait. You know, well, I mean, I still got a few, do a few things here real quick. So, <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. I'll show you. Okay, so. Hold on one sec.
Hopefully you guys can see him there. But we still got a while, so we're going to get him out and look for him. But this guy's already done. Yeah, the thing is, like, I want to use that, um, I'm going to use some of that for, um, for the stuffing. I mean, not for the stuff, for the gravy. The thing is, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, fat in there. You follow me? There's a lot of, uh, bacon fat. So I don't know if that bacon fat is going to make a good gravy. All right. So let's get that bread in the oven. All right, so we got to have um, a topping to go along with this. All right, so I'm going to put this to the side for a second. By the way, Christian says hi, everybody. <laughs> hi, everybody. All right, so first thing we're going to be doing here. I'm gonna add uh, about a quarter cup, okay, of olive oil. So a nice, a nice amount of olive oil here, all right, to the bottom of the pan here, right. Okay. That seem like a lot. It's not that much. So we got that in there. Okay, now we're gonna do the topping, all right? So I'm gonna get a little water in here. Okay, so about a third of a cup of water, give or take, all right? All right, a teaspoon of salt. You know, in this case, you know, I want to use the coarse salt, okay? Let's go with the nice, you know, coarser salt, chunky salt, okay? And some olive oil, all right? Okay, and some rosemary, all right? So... You guys can see that, okay. Rosemary, yeah, we gotta go. All right, and uh, so just, you know, this is some dry rosemary that we're drying, and we're, <laughs> no shit, bro. Anyways, and just basically, uh, just pull it from the thing, and just, uh, we're gonna just add that towards the top. You know, rosemary is just like that flavor that goes perfect with this, you know what I mean? So, and that's it. Very, very fragrant. Nice little mount. Okay. So this is for the topping, all right? We're making the topping here. Look at that. Wow. All right. Oh, man. 
go. All right. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> so look at that. Now we got this beautiful dough. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow. And we're going to go on ahead and toss it in here, okay? So. Okay. Easy. All right, so we're gonna stretch it to make sure it fills the pan. You're gonna go on ahead and uh, flip it around. All right, make sure every part is covered in oil. Okay. Sure everything's part of covered in oil. All right, nice and stretched. All right, now that it's stretched, oh, okay. all right. Okay, make sure. Okay, so then you get your your fingers and you get the famous dimples. All right, those famous little dimples, you know, that are in the focaccia. Those little holes. Right, and this is it. Just kind of make sure it's kind of like even. Okay. And this might seem like it's a lot of oil, but it's not. You know what I mean? Again, that's what makes this bread awesome. Okay. You see, you've got all the little dimples. It's fit perfect in there. Wow. All right. And then you get this, uh, the topping, all right? The water, more oil, the rosemary, all that and you pour it over the top. Look at that. Okay. Look at that, how beautiful does that look? Okay. That's it, just trying to like spread it as even as you can. Okay. And then we're gonna pop this in the oven. Okay. We're gonna pop it in a 450 degree oven, all right, for 25 minutes. And we wash my hands. Okay, I'm actually gonna do 12 minutes, all right? And uh, I'm gonna flip it around and then do the final minutes, okay? Because again, my oven's not um, perfect. Okay, but that's it, all right? So now what I'm actually gonna do is now we're gonna, now we're gonna get the rest of the stuff together, okay? Actually, gotta wait, I forgot. You know, we gotta let the bread rest a little bit before we continue. So, we gotta bake the bread. After we bake the bread, then while it's resting, while it's resting, then, then at that moment, then we'll make the salad and all that, okay? So we're just almost, almost, a little more patience. Patience, grasshoppers. I was about to make it, but it's gonna be too early. I want it to be as fresh as possible. The fresher, the better.
Everybody hanging out watching me making my bread. We're baking the bread. Wonderful bread. I love my bread. I love baking focaccia. Cause focaccia is so tasty. Focaccia is my favorite bread to bake because it comes out so yummy. You guys should try some focaccia bread sometime. Ah, focaccia body. Right. Bruh. <laughs> oh yeah, when the bread's cooling down, that's when uh, I just make the salad real quick. Okay? And the sandwich and all that. It's, you know, it's already, it just takes us like a millisecond. Uh, anyways, alright, so we just got a few more minutes to kill here. We got, was it 10 minutes, I guess? Before we get to flip it. You gotta flip it before you dip it, right? Or something? Me making, man, this is like super old right here. It's interesting. I think my GoPro wasn't working or something. I don't know, something. I think well, I only have one camera angle. I think I'm making the stuffing there. We're just mixing it all together. All together. Now, here, let me show you on the, on the GoPro. You guys can see. Oh, okay, we got the GoPro. There. All right, so I added one cup of liquid. I think that was like two years ago. That was uh, Thanksgiving of 2020, I think. All right, three eggs. Pardon? Yeah. Okay, we're going to add some more liquid in there. Yeah, that was Thanksgiving 2020, I think. There's supposed to be three cups total. So what's up, Lodak? How's it going, man? By the way, by the way, I still got some Philly, some of that Philly meat left over. I, I froze it so I can make myself a Philly cheesesteak later on in the future. Man, that shit was so good, man. That shit was actually really good. Totally worth making at home. That flat top definitely made it happen. Without the flat top, I mean, I don't think anyone can really do it. Maybe, I mean, a close second would be you got to have a really, really good... Um, cast iron skillet but even then you need a you need a flat top you know if you don't got a flat top you really can't make philly cheesesteaks I don't know if I should add any but more holy man that. holy guacamole so good i uh it filled the need i, I had for my philly cheesesteak you know that was a craving one it's been years i mean the last time i had a philly besides the other day the last yeah last week no, yeah, this, no, it was this week. I made Philly this week. Yeah, that's right. I mean, but anyways, the last time I had a Philly was four years ago. Literally, four years ago. Literally, literally. I used to eat them because, you know, uh, when I was in L.A., I used to go to, uh, uh, what's that place called? Dump it in here. Uh, Jersey Mike's. That's right, Jersey Mike's. And I used to get the Philly from Jersey Mike's. Really good. Lodak is just watching Luna waiting for actual zero. It's at point zero 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 seven. I mean, isn't that literally zero already? I mean, how much lower can it go? I was watching, there's some crypto YouTuber out there. What's his face? Uh, the, the, uh, the moon, the moon guy. And he said he lost two million on Luna. <laughs> and he was buying it on the way down, hoping for like some whatever. Yeah, Liquid. So the, the guy buying all that Luna. So two million the guy lost. So a lot of people lost a lot of money. A lot of people are losing a lot of money. But again, you know, you gotta remember all the money that was made as well. 
Can be greedy. And then, you know, the stuffing is super easy, guys. And by the way, Luna is yeah, Spanish for moon. In case you didn't know, Luna is Spanish for moon. So, I mean, basically, Luna is, you know, like fucking, uh, what was that other coin? Uh, damn it. I can't believe that, um, damn, what was it, what was it called? There was some moon coin, right? Moon, moon coin or something? What is it? Not moon coin, but. He's gonna get out of here. He, he, he is. Anyways. But yeah. I can't it's believe uh, trash can. the moon food. coin. Right? So food. shocking, food. you know? What are you doing to me? So, anyways, but by the way, so that, like, this guy was saying, oh, it's like the Lehman Brothers, right? What's going on? I don't think it was like the so Lehman Brothers. I think it was more uh, um, like the Big Connect. There's our Big Connect. I think Big Connect happened right before the 2020. I mean, before the 2018, I mean, ah, before the 2017 crash, right? I think BitConnect was right before the crash. I think, right? I'm pretty sure. So I think that that's something similar. What we're looking for, we're looking at there, you know. So this is this our BitConnect, you know, our, you know, this ver this year's uh, BitConnect. And before that, it was other things. Remember, there was other cr uh, crashes. You know, we have Mt. Gox. You know, we've had a bunch of things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I follow the moon, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, because I follow, I used to follow, remember, I follow like a million YouTube channels, and so back in the day when I was doing the crypto stuff, you know what I mean? Definitely, of course, I followed him and others, you know? And I mean, I forgot he even existed until he fucking came up in the suggestions like yesterday or today or something like that. I just saw it today, I haven't seen him in forever. I forgot he existed. He talks like this, he talks like this. You know, and he does it on purpose like a fucking idiot. But yeah, that guy, the moon, fucking cringe central. Bruh. It's like I became rich because my parents were already rich and I just became richer. Anyways, yeah, good shit. Fakasha, man. Anyways, Fakasha's awesome. I love it. And you should try baking some Fakasha, Lodak. You should try baking some bread. By the way, did you see what I posted in the Discord? Some, um, some, some YouTube, I mean, some Twitch thought, right? Some Twitch girl. By the way, I got nothing against. They can do whatever they want, you know, whatever. But anyways, by like one of those Twitch girls, you know, that does the Twitch streams, you know, like in bikinis and stuff. Um, she was cooking. And I guess she doesn't do cooking. I guess she was just cooking on that episode or whatever. And um, she almost burned her whole apartment building down. And so I put it in the Discord, the video, and you can check it out. But yeah, he, uh, she, she, uh, yeah. That happened. You know, I don't want to laugh. I mean, I feel sorry, but, you know, but I thought that was pretty funny. I thought that was uh, pretty hilarious. Man, like, can you believe that we went to 24.5 on Bitcoin? Man, we're definitely gonna go. Man, I think we might even go lower than 20K. By the way, I mean, we're, I think we're Bitcoin's going to the moon. You know, we're going to like a million dollars and plus, but 100%, I think we're gonna go at least under 20K. That'd be pretty interesting, so. Alright, let me check the bread. I think it's time to flip that. Flip that sucker. So there's 30 seconds. I'm gonna just flip it now. Yeah. yeah, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it there. It's like bubbling. All that oil. It looks so beautiful. Woo! 
And all that hot oil is like uh, burning. All right, stop. I'm gonna do it again. That bread is pimping. So excited. So excited. When did you see 24.5, the lowest they got on Binance was 26 cents. No way. On, on Binance is where I saw it. Um, well, I mean, I, I, I do Binance World, you know? I don't know about you. I think, I think you just do Binance USA. But anyways, uh, no, yeah, 24.5. It went down to 24.5. I think even this guy talked about it. I mean, they hit 24.5 and it, it didn't sustain it, but it hit 24.5 and then bounced right back up. It was insane. Like at three in the morning or some shit like that. Yes, sir. So that happened. Says, damn, she didn't even know what to do with the grease fire. She shouldn't cook. Yeah, I know. That's what everybody was saying. I mean, I feel bad for her. Whatever. You know, not, you know I, I knew nothing was really going to happen, you know. But at least she had the smart, I, you know, and she was smart enough to realize um, to, to at least, you know, call for help. You know what I mean? So, you know, whatever. It is what it is. It was at least funny. But yeah, I don't want to play it on here because if I play it on here, you know, I might get in trouble with like some hate stuff. You know what I mean? You know, Twitch is a little weird with all that. And, and I think YouTube as well, so it's like, you know how it is. But yeah, if you want to see it, go to the Discord, guys. If you guys want to see the video I'm talking about, go to the Discord. Famous water pump that you guys all know and love. Bruh. Mm, so we got the pesto out, we got the basil out, we got the mozzarella. Tomatoes. 
on a scale of one to ten, on a scale of one to ten, um, how bad of a sound is the water pump? Let me know, please. Like, honest, be honest. I'm just curious because I tried to figure out. I mean, I really couldn't figure out a way to to close it. The best I can do is it when it comes on, I can close there. Does that help? Inquiring minds want to know. I mean, that's the way you guys can help the show since we're all broke as fuck right now. All right, so I'm gonna slice these guys up and just start getting everything ready on one plate. Assemble it later. Why did you say eight? Oh, an eight on how bad it also it's loud as fuck. Okay, got it. I always mute when it comes on and also when you are blending stuff. Got it. Oh my god, look at that shotgun news. Remember that? Alright, alright, good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Appreciate that. That helps. A lot. That helps a lot. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate it. If only it would have been brought to my attention earlier. No, it's good. So we get our chess, right? Our nice block of mozzarella. Mozzarella. As they like to say in the, the Italia. All right, so we're just gonna slice this bad boy up. Okay. You know, like a little, nice little medium slice, you know? You know what I realized? One thing that I wanted to make today and I completely fucking dropped the ball and I didn't make it, which is fine. I'll make it another day. I wanted to make a balsamic uh, reduction, you know? I had some balsamic vinegar and just, I would have just been reducing it throughout the show. Whatever, I'll make it another time. I mean, it's just basically reducing, you know, balsamic vinegar. Okay, so we got this now to the side here. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this because I need a dry. Well, you know what? I think it'll dry. Right. Let me wash it real quick. showing you pictures of my uh in my turkey what the hell's going on over here what am i even look at that turkey looks good huh I feel like some turkey the GoPro hooked up all right time to get that bad boy back on all right but in the meantime we're gonna start getting the salad ready all right let me see how much we got on the bread oh bread's almost done I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait to get the salad ready let's put this in the fridge for a second all right beautiful is that you guys can see look still see the oil down there get a little close-ups there wow. right I mean oh my god look this is so perfect man man like I said, you really, you guys gotta try it. I mean, it's super easy. Okay, so now here, we gotta go on and we gotta take this out, all right? Because otherwise, if we leave it in there, it's gonna get um, all steamy. All right, so I'm just gonna get it. All right, I'm gonna pop it out. All right, hold on.
the hell? We got a little stuck over here. Alright, jeez. Bruh. <laughs> Let's get this guy out of here. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. What a beauty! Oh my god. That is some beauty. Take some pictures actually you know so it's cooling down and we'll wait for this to do its thing there usd stable coin is now pegged to a quarter that's crazy that is crazy look at that so i'm gonna go on ahead real quick here I mean, it just looks so good. Right? I don't know. I think this is the best one I've made so far. Instagram video too, right? Might as well. Some music to this. I don't know how I have music here. I think here, right? I'm gonna go. I'm too sexy for my. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Oh. That's right, I don't want to be getting, hopefully I didn't get no copyright strike, you know, like a dumbass, you know, with a song. Bruh. Anyways, alright, so I played it on the... Yeah, that's some badass, so yeah, it's just cooling down, doing its thing there. Look at that, what a beaut, huh? Thank you, thank you. So yeah, so I'm just gonna let this kind of cool down for a little bit over here to the side. All right, let's get back to, uh, let's go on ahead and make the salad real quick.
See, we are going to use a little balsamic in this case, all right? Some olive oil, of course. Salt and pepper. So again, now we're going to just go on ahead and make this amazing salad, put it together. All right. One second. Look at that. Okay. I think Christian's almost home. I think I hear him. Okay. So let's just put this together. This is a very, very, very easy salad. There she is. All right, she's here. Super easy salad to put together. And knock it out. Hola, hola, hold on. Let me go say hi to the wife. Okay, we're back. Hey, hey, Loco, how's it going? You made it back just in time. All right. All right, so we're just gonna, again, this is very, very simple, guys, all right? What we're gonna do now is just, uh, we're gonna layer one tomato, okay? With a piece of cheese, all right? And a piece of basil, like that, okay? And then you wash, rinse, repeat. Okay, and then you're just making a little circle like that. Okay. You guys can see that. Okay. But it's again very, very simple. And so like this salad. You see, it's supposed to represent the Italian flag. You know, that's why you see it, it's uh, the same colors as the Mexican flag. Bruh. Mm -hmm. So who did it first, right? Anyway. <laughs> So Mexico stole it from Italy. Right, anyways, it's another story for another day. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gizmo's one's ready to eat. Okay, see, look at this beautiful, beautiful salad. Who go to get a sandwich? Okay, so as you guys can see, we got the salad there. All right. Wow. Now we're gonna simply just a, a little bit of salt. Okay. Some pepper. By the way, you're paying like you know, probably like $15 for something like this at a restaurant, or $10. Anyways, no, I don't know. I don't know what the hell you're paying for this, $10 or anything. Anyway, some olive oil. Okay, make it look nice and schmancy. Here, hold on. That's right. 
And then you just get some, let's see, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, all right? That's it. What a beautiful, beautiful thing, all right? Panto my focus. Okay. Look at that. What a beautiful thing. All right. Anyone can make this, guys. It's so easy. No, literally, no, for reals. You know, like a lot of times, you know, so we have many. You know, in a restaurant, we got many stations and many, you know, things that you got to do in the kitchen. And uh, a lot of times, you know, in emergency situations, like we're down a man or down uh, an employee or whatever, um, we will put like someone that doesn't even know how to cook into like the salad station because anyone, anyone can make this. If you can't make this, you probably burn water. So I don't know what to say there, which is fine. It's okay. You know, like we're not, you know, all in debt. At a uh, and everything here, right? So, shout out to everybody out there. Thank you, thank you. You gotta have local with all all the kind words. I see. Yes, right. Daddy. For for everybody, yeah. Lodak is saying hi. Everybody's saying hi. So look at that. All right. So, we'll have to make photo after. We'll have to pick out. Looks like I make a sandwich. All right, so we got that. We got that. She's gonna take a few pictures real quick. You guys gonna watch her take some pictures? Look at that. How beautiful. Okay, and now we're gonna make some sandwiches, right? We're gonna get a. I got some uh, Spanish ham, some chorizo, some salami. Makes it so good, you know, the fact that it's nice and crunchy. So, you know, the more this cools down, you know, the easier it is to work with, but you know, also the less spice. Anyways, this bread is uh, crunchy. I wish I could make this bread for the Philly, you know what I mean, or some version of it, but. Anyways, look at that. Okay, we got a little sandwich, right? So now we're gonna put some pesto in here. Um, I 
¿Tú quieres um, tomar tomate aquí también adentro? Sí, ¿verdad? Lo que no te comas en el salario me lo deja. Ok. Ok. So this is going to be a beautiful, easy sandwich. You can make whatever sandwich you want. This is just a sandwich that we're making, you know, with this bread. But again, you can go go crazy with uh, whatever you want to make over there. Okay? Bruh. So, pesto. All right. Simple, 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 delicious pesto. Quieres probar un poquito? Right now it's it's hot, you know what I mean? Uh, because you know she was working in the sun all day, so she's extra hot. Um, literally, right? I mean, right? And uh, yeah, so be you know the pesto can go a long way as well. Look at that, so it's nice and packed full of meat. Oh, that's what she said. Bruh. Okay, and look at that. And then we're gonna put the tomato on top there. Okay.
ことでしたもん Tomorrow is Friday the 13th. So, you know, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's coming. <laughs> it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Bruh. <laughs> and, um, and that's it. Sorry. So, right, so, okay, we got awesome, awesome reviews today. Great. I'm going to go do a quick little raid, you know, with no viewers. Bruh. I'm going to do a quick little raid. No, because it helps me gain viewers, so that's how it works. So, complicated Oye, story. No tienes más viewers en, en la tarde, es como que temprano. I feel like I do have more viewers earlier in the day, right? What do you guys think, huh? I don't know. I thought I had, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm just doing later streams because of her, you know, at the moment, really more than anything else. Um, But to tell you the truth, uh, I thought that I would have more viewers at late at night, you know, thinking that uh, there's, uh, you know, more people watching, I guess. But I guess I'm wrong. I guess there's more streamers during the day, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess, you know. Interaction yeah, yeah, it seems like there's a lot more action going on during the day. So, so I mean, we, you know, but whatever. It's just a little experiment, the whole thing. And like I said, we're going to be doing other things with the channel and all that other stuff. Back in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything came out awesome. Hells yeah! Right, very, very, very simple, very, very yummy, and um, awesome. All right, so give me a second. I'll be back in like two seconds. I'm just gonna rate some random channel and I'll be back.
All right, guys. Well, hope you guys had a wonderful uh, time hanging out with me today. Thanks. Uh, shout out to special shout out to Lodak and Hiv Loco, especially Lodak since he hung out with me the longest. He gets uh, he gets the title. He wins today. Yeah, that's right. She's like she got. Christian's like he's loyal. Yeah, that's right. More loyal than that handsome guy, right? Am I talking? Mm. About, am, I, am, I, am I right or am I right? Am I right or am I right? Mm. Anyways, <laughs> just fucking busting some balls. Anyways, all right, man. <laughs> Shout out to you. Shout out to everybody out there. Um, Hanson out there making some moves. Don't worry, uh, he'll be around soon enough. Guys, thanks again for watching. You already know the deal. The deal. The drill. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit the like icon. Favorite. Yeah. Follow. Bruh. Just do all the stuff, okay? All the things. You already know what to do, okay? Just do the things, okay? Thanks again for watching. Hope you appreciate it. If you do, do some of those things that I just told you, and uh, I'll t <laughs> and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, for the weekend, for the week finale. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be making some mushroom chicken pasta. What do you think about that? Right? And some peach cobbler. Oh, man, that peach cobbler. <laughs> right, you got the ice cream and everything. That's what I'm really looking forward to. I fuck the chicken pasta. I mean, you know, chicken pasta. Come on, I make that shit all the time. Come on, that's not... It's just... But it's going to be awesome, though. It is going to be awesome, so tune in for that. But tune in for the peach cobbler, because that's, that's really what's going to be, you know, on point. You know what I mean? It's going to be money. All right? So, guys, you're in the deal. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. Peace out, and we'll see you guys manana. Bye. Laters. Thanks. Adios. Love you. Adios. Adios. Bye. Bless you.